How you guys doing? Thank you for joining us tonight. I am Tyler Rhodes, and you have come to the twitch.tv. Save and throw. I'm I'm a mess tonight. It's oh, something like fuck. that. That was close. <sighs> We're Where gonna play we? some Shadowrun tonight. Yay! Yay! <sighs> so thanks for joining us, uh, and I am so <laughs> excited. Oh, you you're doing your that cue. because you got your cue cards out. You're just. <laughs> Because the, uh, I, this was this thing was sitting in my garage for probably about a year, and Dom was saying like, "Hey, uh, uh, could you bring the whiteboard? Uh, I'd love to have you bring the whiteboard down to the studio. I could really use it." And and I made fun of him for it. And this is Dom's revenge. That's a great cute. He's doing a so, great a whiteboard. Job. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, anyway, thank you for joining me tonight. We're going to be playing some Shadow Run, but before we get to that. Uh, I have a couple of announcements to make. First of all, and most importantly, if you'll notice below, there is a button that says subscribe. And that indicates that we are now officially Twitch partners. Yay! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Two years in the making, and we have finally hit our partnership. So if you like what you see and you want to support our stream, um, click that subscribe button. And I will do you a solid, and I will mention your name on the air. What a oh. deal! Hey. And if you Fancy. don't like what you see, but you want to keep watching it to complain more, also hit that subscribe yeah. button, and we'll also say your name on the air. Yeah, yes. you get a little you get a little thing by your name that says you're a subscriber. Wait, have we set that up yet? Yes. Okay, cool. You get a little you get a little thing with like, hey, this guy is more than official. Subscribe button's up there. Buddy. Subs oh, is it up not, here? Not like 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 right over here in this area or over here? Just go like. <laughs> Somewhere from here to here is a subscribe button, so click on it um, if you want, you know. Uh, and if you, if you like what we do and want to support what we do, uh, we would really, really appreciate it. Uh, you guys are great. Uh, so that's item number one. Item number two, uh, in addition to becoming official partners on Twitch, we also have a, what, are, what is it called? What is our thing with Loot Crate called? Influencer. Influencer. Oh. We are Loot Crate Influencers. Oh. So we have a promo code that I assume is somewhere in the description. Uh, I have not seen it. I heard it's a very good promo code. Uh, you can use that promo code to get... What's that? That's hard to remember, yeah. promo code. Saving throw. Saving throw. <laughs> All one word, yeah? All one word. Okay, cool. Uh, and you get 10% off your first Loot Crate. Hey. Such a deal! Uh, loot Crate's neat. You get a t-shirt. You get a lot of other cool nerdy stuff. Um, they're a good company, and they're one of the good guys. So... Uh, if you want a Loot Crate, use our promo code and you can get a sweet discount. Uh, in a, speaking of discounts, um, do we have anything uh, of his around here? Oh, yes. Uh, this right here. This our... needs to be turned around a little while. Oh, shit. That's embarrassing. That professional. Embarrassing. Professional streamers. Um, we'll get there. Talking about the... how official and cool we are and make a rookie mistake like that. I know. <laughs> I'm pathetic. <laughs> this uh, beautiful hexagon was created by the good people at Hrothgar's Horde. I believe, do I say the H, or is it just Rothgar? Rothgar sounds Go more appropriate. Uh, yeah, I'll check out my Beowulf. I'm going to crack that. Um, uh, they are friends of the show. They have been friends of the show for a long time. And they sell cool um, wood-crafted uh, items like this. It's got a nice felt Very bottom, cool rounded edges. The grain is kind of sexy and stained. And it's got our name here, and it's neat. And he's a neat guy. I met him in person. Um, and they're just good people. And look um, at those seams. Wait. Yeah. What, what? seams? No, no seams. seams. <laughs> That's professional crafting right there. Um, and if you like what you it see, seems to be magic. <laughs> we have a discount code for Hrothgar's ho Horde as well. You can get 20% off any purchase over $50. Awesome. Just kidding. 20% off every... You don't even have to spend $50? I think it's the 20%. That oh, is that incredible. There's not even a minimum purchase. So that you have no reason not to do this unless you're an asshole. And you guys aren't assholes. I know. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's a sweet deal. Get on it while you can before he figures out that he's made a horrible business decision <laughs> and people are just racking up that twenty percent discount. Um, mm. So uh, finally, um, we have a Patreon, and that link is also below in this general region down here. Is this below? Oh, it's yeah. Below. Sorry. Um, <laughs> We have, uh, we are, we are revamping our Patreon, um, and uh, we're going to be doing lots of cool stuff, uh, a lot of cool content. 
um, bonus things. Uh, I have secrets that I'm going to reveal to my Patreon backers about this. Uh, th th these, these are my treasured secrets. Ooh. And I'm going to release them to you. You will know, and you can have that power over these people. Th who is pulling the strings and why they're pulling the strings. It's all oh. figured out. I wrote it. Oh. And I will tell Sounds you. Sounds like you're getting four more Patreon backers. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I made a terrible mistake. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, uh, I'll, I'll tell you some of the some sweet behind the scenes stuff. I, and now that I'm a GM, I can I can start producing this kind of cool stuff for you. Because I, I it's driving me crazy that I can't tell them what's really happening uh, uh, to them or what's going to happen to them. Uh, I'm excited uh, to see know. how they tackle these challenges tonight because I wrote it and I I wrote it without a solution in mind. Um, so I'm like, Shit. I, that's I, great because we don't have a solution. By <laughs> <you guys. laughs> yeah. Uh, so I, I'm interested to see if you guys can figure out the puzzle that I haven't solved yet. Sounds um, like we're gonna have to work together to come up with some kind of solution. Yes. Mm. yes. Teamwork. Hashtag mm. teamwork. It's gonna bring a tear to my eye, and I am so delighted that I have all four of our players here. So Ooh. thank you guys. Yay. First time. And we don't have you next time, so, yeah. you know, that's, but this time. So this is it. <laughs> enjoy, enjoy the show. It. <laughs> Breathe it in. Uh, let's go around the table real quick. Thank you for getting, uh, for sitting with me through those announcements. Let's go to the important part, the players. And we're going to start with uh, uh, Miss Kelsey over here. All right. What do we want to know? Uh, tell them your name. Uh, tell them the character you're playing. And tell them the most trouble Watch that you, you got into <laughs> when you were in school. Like the, oh. the worst thing you did at school. What do you need? Real quick, real quick. Uh -huh. Your mic is sort of. Mm. Oh my. Do you mean like character wise That's or personally? No, personally. No, this is Kelsey. I missed it. What happened? Right. Yeah. There we go. What is the worst thing that you did at school and got oh, caught doing? Gosh. And got punished for. And if it's nothing, I'm sure there's some some I, Nancys I out here um, that hey. didn't get in any trouble. Nancy. So I, know. I was really boring. <laughs> I know. I know. I was, I was mostly very, boring, very boring, but I had a couple of bad ones. So, okay, well, let's start over here with right. the lady in green. Well, hello. I'm Kelsey, and I am playing Gidget, who is a dwarf. What am I called again? Rigger. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> I remembered. Uh, riggers are pretty awesome. I've got all kinds of drones and bots and all kinds of gadgets that I use. Um, and the worst thing I did in school. Uh... <laughs> The lamer it is, the funnier it'll be, oh, I think. Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't know. Okay, I don't have like a bad thing that I did, but I have a funny story that I can share from elementary school. Let's go all the way back. Oh, man. Take a journey back with me. <laughs> uh, okay, so I've always been a complete... <laughs> doodly doot, doodly doot, doodly doot. Um, I've always been a little bit of a spaz, in case you haven't been able to pick up on that yet, because I, I hide it really well. Uh, but my best friend and I used to always come up with little like skits and sketches that we would perform for our class, and we would uh, waive recess for practicing and rehearsing and building props and such. And uh, we got a new, I don't know, some kind of new piece of equipment in our classroom, and we had this big, giant box, and we decided it would be perfect to turn into a prop. And so our sketch was about a king who loved jewels so much that he even had a jewel-encrusted toilet. And we made a, the box into a giant toilet. And we cut out pieces of paper and made jewels. <laughs> so we made this giant, elaborate box jewel-encrusted toilet with like a little pull chain flusher and everything. And I got to be a king who dropped a jewel down the toilet and then eventually flushed himself down. And I got to spin around in a circle and sink myself into the box. Wait, wait. And then the box broke and I fell out of it and that wasn't part of the plan. No. Was there an but it was still pretty all? funny. Was oh yeah, no, this was okay. literally for the class. Oh, okay. All right. But we would have done just... it by ourselves. <laughs> so this teacher just kind of rolled his eyes and was like, guys, it's uh, here's oh, no, another she sketch. Was so used to, <laughs> yeah, she was guys. so used to it. <laughs> I'm like, we were just such weirdos. So but nice. so I, I yeah, I mean I didn't do bad things, but I did things that would maybe be embarrassing to normal humans. <laughs> mm, okay, um, got it. and I did them frequently. And you are a normal human. You are So they say. You, yeah, I mean you have a human voice and you speak with That's how I try to present myself to the world. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Sorry that I'm such a you know, I know. goody you, two shoes you never boring got, baby. Huh. You ever got like detention or like lunch duty or anything? I slapped a boy once in uh, hey. like did he just yeah. no, fifth, <laughs> in like fifth grade. Well it's not victim blame here. Right across his face. <laughs> That's probably the, I don't know, most dangerous thing I did on school grounds. <laughs> All right, that's 
good. Yeah. Did you get in trouble for it or did? No. Okay. Yeah. Totally got away. Ah, yeah. nice work. <laughs> Until now, it's all been the same. Oh, no. Come in, boys. What's yeah. the statute of limitations for detention from slapping someone? He is in chat right now. <laughs> Damn you! <laughs> All right. So terrible. Let's continue. Let's continue around the circle. Well, uh, <clears throat> this fine gentleman. Hey. Yeah. Hey guys. So I uh, I play John, who is our elven face. Uh, uh, so okay. As far as school goes, I'm gonna forgo senior night because I got away with all of that. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. And I'm gonna instead go with something that happened in my chemistry class. All right. So uh, I was in Mr. Gilman's chemistry class. I guess it was probably ninth grade, maybe tenth grade. We were working with, uh, I want to say it was like some form of pyrite or something like that. Something that is pretty flammable. And it doesn't probably speak very well of me that I don't remember what he told us not to do now. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> but I don't remember. And, but I, I probably didn't do that thing. And uh, I, uh, it was something having to do with like how you like, like to not reuse a spoon or like not, I don't know, not to like create too much friction by scraping your spoon or something like that. Mm -hmm. But I scooped up some of this powder out of the out of these nice little like chemistry bottle, moved it out like that, and when I had it like a f like two feet, maybe three feet away, a spark jumped all the way. It was like poof, and it went poof, poof, right into the right into the entire container and lit the whole thing up. Oh, like this entire no. container of like that's its job is to be flammable and it just went, oh, no. And he's like, oh, put the cap on it. <laughs> no! <laughs> he was pissed. He was, like, he was like, you know how many, that was like a couple hundred dollars you just bought I was just going to say, they're like, our budget! Yeah, and, he, <laughs> and he called me dick ears the rest of the semester. Oh. Dick ears? Dick ears. Dick ears? Wow. That is wow. correct. Dick That's ears. intense. Damn. Why? Yeah, I don't know. I guess he thought it was funny, which is funny. You're still with dicks at all. I know. Right? You have wonderful ears. I, I thank you for saying that because I've been thinking about it ever since. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's a random insult. <laughs> He's a pretty hilarious guy. <laughs> like a week later, he lost his eyebrows to an explosion. So. Uh, oh, um, nice. He was just that. a bad teacher then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He was great. Uh, <laughs> the dots are all lining up. <laughs> Awesome. All right, uh, let's uh, we'll, we'll skip me for now and continue on with this handsome gentleman over here to my left. There's a handsome gentleman. Yeah, right over here. Oh, oh okay. He has wonderful ears um, as well. Thank you. <laughs> um, you know, initially I couldn't think of anything, but then I did remember what actually the worst thing that I've ever done in school and be caught for was uh, I learned how to sign my dad's name really, really, really well mm -hmm. in uh, junior high. And um, the thing that I got in the most amount of trouble for was I was on a probation period and had to bring a weekly report, report card home that after the first couple of weeks, my parents never saw ever again until the end of the semester when they got called in for a parent-teacher conference <laughs> and were shocked that I was failing this class. <laughs> And the teacher was shocked that they were shocked because you've been <laughs> signing their report cards oh, all year no. long. So that was the summer that I was uh, grounded, and my parents got a bunch of free manual labor in the in the yard. Um, the, did you, the, the, did you get in trouble with the school too, or just with the uh, no? Rents? My, my parents were really cool, and they totally covered it, and mm. they totally covered it with the uh, with the school. Um, and the other time when I got caught doing it, they covered it with the school. That, that was where I. They were enabling you. Yes, nice. I, I had a I had a trip slip, for a field trip that they had signed, but I'd left it at home, and mm. I had a second copy for some reason, and I signed that one right before I got on the bus, and then went to the thing, and then mm. my mom found the one that I left at home and drove all the way down to the oh, school no. to turn it in. And the teacher's like, oh, no, we have it signed right here. Oh, no. <laughs> and and, and this, this was the following year after I had been grounded and oh, I already knew that I man. could sign everything. Nightmare. And they were, I got grounded for that, too, but only for a couple of weeks, mainly because, you know, the lies, not, not, not because they didn't want me to go on the trip. Right, no, right. Because they wanted to discourage forgery. Yes, exactly. Of <laughs> yeah, yeah they, just, just a deception is the worst. <laughs> this is how your parents talk, yep, right? Yep, okay. um, I figured. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Nick. Nick, we're it's disappointed. Funny, it's funny how embarrassed I am now <laughs> that I totally turned red <laughs> off of this thing. Yes, I was Damn. a criminal mastermind. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and, and who are you playing? Uh, I am playing Moonbiter, an orc shaman. Uh, the magical muscle of the team. Oh, yeah. Magic nice. muscle. And speaking of magic muscles, 
uh, we will go over to this young lady in Hi. the uh, the burglar outfit. I no, am. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> the most beautiful burglar it, outfit I've ever seen in my life. Oh, it's you look you look fantastic. You look like a like a Victorian goddess sort of. All uh, like right, yeah. I'll take there you that. go. That's much better. Yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. Victorian yeah. goddess cat burglar. Yeah, cat yeah. burglar. I'm I mean, also okay yeah. with that. That actually That's totally fits with your uh, <laughs> yeah. with your character. I, I, right. I would say. So yeah, tell us who you are and who you play. Um, hi, my name is Michaela. I am playing Katu, who is a human adept. He is an enhanced ninja. Mm -hmm. I like to just say magic ninja. Yeah. Cyberpunk magic ninja. Yeah. There we go. That's a good way of putting it. <laughs> you even have the goggles and everything. Yes. Uh, Katu I know. Does. I'm really, I'm really thankful for those. Um, <laughs> um I was a. Uh, good kid for the most part. I've never been grounded in my life. Mm -hmm. um, but in college, and I didn't get punished for these, like I, but, but mm -hmm. I mostly took night courses or eight-week courses, so they were like four hours long. And I had one where it was um, a film production class, or video, it was video production. But on campus, there was stand-up happening, and it was John Oliver. This was a few years back. Mm -hmm. A young John Oliver. A younger John Oliver. Okay. <laughs> um, so halfway through class, we took a break, and I just never went back to the class and went and watched the stand-up. Could have just went to my dorm room after, could have just, uh, but instead, like, hung around on campus and then ran into my professor, who was like, hey, where were you? <laughs> I, and I said I had a headache and... And he's like, well, next time, tell me. You could just tell in his face. He didn't believe mm -hmm. a word. I was like, there's John Oliver. <laughs> oh, I just wanted but, to watch but. it. And I had never skipped. And the, the other thing I did was my last day of class was on Cinco de Mayo. So I went and had a margarita in the middle of the day and went back to my last class, which we didn't have anything to do. <laughs> but it hit me real hard because I didn't have uh -huh. lunch. I, I think I had, like, chips and salsa and a margarita. Margaritas are the best. <laughs> <laughs> it was so good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd never been like drunk in public really before. Well, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. at school at least. Yeah. Broadening your horizons. Yeah. What's wrong with that? Yeah. <laughs> that's that's great. Okay. <laughs> cool. You guys are. We're you're so, so. You're such good yeah. people. I know. What is yours though? I have. Yeah. <laughs> what is that, Tyler? Like I was expecting to be like, you, know, <laughs> you guys think us. that's bad? Listen to this. But I'm like, those aren't bad at all. You guys are such nice people. I was a, I was, I was a good kid, but I was kind of a monster. I got in What'd trouble. What'd you do? It's arson. I'll tell you this. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit of arson. I think <laughs> the the worst thing and the most humiliating thing I ever did. I was sitting at the. Uh, I was in honors English in my ninth grade, and uh, we were taking a test. And I, I, I was so I was so out of my depth um, with that test. It was it was on Eastern religions, and I was just looking at this, and I'm like, Buddhism, Taoism. I, I don't know what any of this shit means. And so I like, but I had all the notes written out, and I've just been looking at them, and it was just like all Greek to me. And so the day of the test, um, I was sitting in the front row of the class. And genius me, I, I just put my paper, my notes, <laughs> on the top of my book bag underneath my desk Classic. and did this. But the teacher was right there. <laughs> <laughs> and so I was like moving it with my foot. <laughs> he was real cool about it. He like, <laughs> he like came over and he just put a note down and he says, Tyler, please stop looking at your notes. <laughs> and see me after class. <laughs> And I was just like, oh, fuck, oh. guys. Oh, that's bad. And I mean, I failed that. He was he was super cool about it because he, uh, I think he was, he knew he was giving us too much. Like we were honor students, but we weren't like geniuses. He was teaching like a college level course to ninth graders. And so he kind of chilled after that. <laughs> um, but he, like he, he didn't end up like <clears throat> turning me in or ratting me out or anything like that. Cause I mean, I think he knew we were under pressure, but. Um, but he did, uh, uh, he did flunk me, uh, oh. on that test. Oh, on the test. Like hard. Yeah. I got it. I got it. I got an F. I mean, I ended up getting a C in the class, but, um, that was bad. That was the most embarrassing. I didn't get in trouble for that. I mean, there was other times I, I got on a yelling match with one of my mm. English teachers, uh, about, mm. cause, cause she was, she was being a bad person. I got kicked out of my band's <clears throat> class in my ninth grade because, again, my teacher was being a bad person, <laughs> and I was a good person, but she kicked me out of band because I screwed up a recording that we were doing. Uh, and I, I served, Purposely? I, yeah, purposely. Oh, okay. What? 
it's a long story. I don't have time to go into it. But but she was she was a bully and a hypocrite, and I hated her guts. And uh, so I you I was, it. Yeah, I basically you took, you took I, yeah. a knee on the recording. I took a knee, and she flipped out and uh, uh, yelled at, yelled at the whole class, yelled at me in front of the whole class, and then threw, kicked me out of the band. So. Oh, uh, I had a knife sorry. confiscated from me at school, but that's I didn't, good. But, but I didn't get, but I didn't get in trouble for it, I so I didn't. Me too. That like that's story. a normal thing. Where'd you grow up? <laughs> uh, San Fernando Valley. Okay. Where'd so you grow up, Dom? Yeah, yeah. That's like a, that's like seems like a rural <laughs> thing. <for them. laughs> well, I feel like they're way more uptight about it around here. They, they yeah, are after I was in school, I would say. But also, it was a, it was a Swiss Army knife, so I, okay. so I was able to legitimately say, no, it's for fixing my bike, which I ride. You know, they busted that guy on Hollywood Boulevard yeah. for having like they, I mean, not busted, they killed him for having a Swiss Army knife. So that's, like, Whoa, yeah. that's crazy. insane. Yeah, Serious business. two-inch non-locking blade. That's frightening. Oh, yeah, it's getting dark. <sighs> Get, it's We're dark in here. Dark. Yeah, Tracy Morgan. Um, okay, cool. All right. Well, thank you guys. Uh, and uh, and uh, that's our street cred for the Shadow Run. Yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's the bunch of criminals that that, uh, you, that talk, you have around the table. Just talk like Tracy Morgan more often. Yeah, it's dark. It's getting dark. <laughs> that's his special. Uh, yeah, what? you could you could donate to have me play Tracy Morgan for one of the NPCs. I know. Oh I met him on an yes. airplane, and you are spot on. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> that's very good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's play some Shadow Run. Don't you play for free, Tyler? I'm sorry. <laughs> all right. Uh, first of all, we have a couple of donations. Uh, the Ooh. first donation, the Bard1971 gives Nick a sploosh. Hey, oh. Thanks, Thanks sploosh. the Bard 1971 yeah. And BSP Care has given me uh, something to do. And BSP Aww. Care has donated a character. Uh, that's one of the options that you have below. And you are going to see that character very soon, uh, BSP Care. So thank um, you for um, that donation. Um, okay, uh, we'll do a real quick recap because we spent you know 20 minutes introducing, mm -hmm. but I just like you people so much, uh, <laughs> and I want uh, I want the world to know. Um, uh, we'll do a quick recap. Recap is actually very quick, and I'll do it because uh, I'm in charge and I'm, I'm the captain. Um, uh, You're the captain now. Party was jumped by a group of Halloweeners. Uh, <laughs> wieners. Um, <laughs> How old are you? <laughs> Too old. <laughs> Too old for that to be funny. Old enough to know I, better. I never made that connection before. Uh, jumped by a bunch of Halloweeners <laughs> outside of a diner. Um, they had just beaten up a mysterious gentleman who immediately recognized these people as shadow runners and say, "Hey, I got a gig for you. Meet me here at this place. Uh, meet me at the strip club, and uh, what I'll was give you called? some money." The strip club is called the glu the mm -hmm. glistening gooey duck. Um, it's mm. terrible. I apologize, but you know. No, you don't. <laughs> oh, we have uh, we have one table reroll. Oh yes, one table reroll. Um, yes, thank you. And I have one reroll. Does anybody else have rerolls written down? No. 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 Uh, rerolls. No. Just this cash. Okay. Nobody has rerolls. Keep that in mind, gentlemen and ladies. Uh, so uh, group travels to the glistening gooey duck. Um, gets super paranoid about everything. <laughs> and uh, eventually meets with the Johnson. Uh, they agree on a price, and uh, they can't get any information about the Johnson. And now, here we are preparing for the actual Shadow Run. That was six hours worth of gameplay yeah. <laughs> that I recapped in about a minute. So, <laughs> it's a glacial pace we move at here. Ta-da! Ta-da! <laughs> and now, here we are. Um, there is a gentleman in your car by the name of, oh shit, what's his name? The guy, the meat cleaver guy? Papa Chops. Papa Chops. Papa How do you forget Chops. Papa Chops? I don't know. I have his character sheet over here. It's just, <laughs> Papa Chops is great. Uh, Papa Chops negotiated you guys a great deal, but Papa Chops um, has a family emergency that he needs to attend to. That makes to. sense. Um, so uh, he's, uh, I don't remember Papa Chops' voices, but I imagine it was something like, Oh, I gotta go see my family. family. He is a father, being Papa Chops. Mm -hmm. Yes, he needs to take care of baby Chops. The Chops. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> the chop and Lady Chops. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Lady Chops has to go to the store, and it's this whole thing. He's like, "Sorry, guys, I, uh, I gotta, I gotta cut out." And so, um, you get a buzz on your uh, you. No, not you, you, because you don't know him, but you do. You get a buzz on your comm link, uh, and oh, wait, <coughs> what's that? It was me. She. she. Yeah. Him. Him. Oh wait. Cat two new Papa Chops. But you do, do you know him? No. Ah. So oh, okay. You, oh. So you get a buzz on uh, your con link. We're also, yeah. Yes. Sorry. Uh, you get a buzz on your con link, and it says John, who is supposed to be flying to New York right now. 
I'll answer the call. Okay. John. Yeah. What's up? Uh, hey, I'm in. It's Back uh, in town? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not leaving. Uh, change of plans. All right. Well, uh, we uh, we got some action. If you want to meet up with us. Oh, absolutely. Uh, where at? Uh, I guess that, we were uh, meeting at a bar before we went off to the uh, thing, right? Before we went off to the yes, yes, run. we were. We were meeting yeah. at a bar. That's what we decided. Another bar, and the name of that bar is the name of that bar is oh. is uh, Twisters. Twisters, <laughs> classic. Gotta yeah. go to Twisters. All right, man. Meet us at Twisters. We'll be in the usual booth. All right. See you there. This town sounds cool. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's an innuendo. <laughs> the innuendo is innuendo. <laughs> Where everything's wet. <laughs> oh no. Oh god, I hope my mom isn't watching. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do it. <laughs> it's all right. Michaela. Oh, Michaela's mom. That might not mean anything. That might not mean anything. It's fine, honey. You gotta keep the people in it. You don't know my. That sounds mom. just like your mom, isn't it? <laughs> it's Michaela, darling. You're doing a great job. I wish that's what my mom's done. <laughs> Michaela, please. Yeah. Dr. Girlfriend. Tony <laughs> Michaela, you dear. To stop what you're doing. It's okay. Oh my god. This is fine. We have to have a Dr. Girlfriend character at some point. Yeah. Dr. Girlfriend? Yeah. Oh, have you ever watched Adventure Brothers? <gasps> what? What? No, I'm sorry. Not a single we'll, episode. We'll have oh, to keep you gotta watch, on track. You gotta watch <laughs> but I'll send you Is that like later. Aqua Teen Hunger Force? Oh, it's so much better. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Don't watch it with Henry. But, okay. but definitely watch it. <laughs> yeah, Good yeah. tips. Yeah, yeah, it's a cartoon. Yes. He loves yes. cartoons. Oh. Exactly. That was um. the, uh... <laughs> All right, so you guys are at the um, Twisters. 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 You're Twisters uh, uh, getting, uh, you have 3,000 new yen burning a hole in your pocket. Um, uh, 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 Papa Chops uh, uh, gives his cred stick up grudgingly because uh, mm -hmm. he knows he's not going to do the job, so he hands it over to you. And you guys got 3,000 uh, 3, new yen burning a hole in your pocket, and so you get, you know, you order the best that Twisters has to offer, which is just like jalapeno poppers, oh. jala yeah. so soy jalapeno poppers, oh. and soy salad with soy ranch. It's so good. <laughs> it's soy good? Yeah, it's ah. so, so good. Um, yeah, and, and uh, John, you show up, and um, uh, yeah. Hey guys, uh, poppers. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So uh, I think Jesse, uh, in addition to John, actually needs to be caught up on the gig. Uh, so if you guys bit. could go over with that, over that with him, from what you remember, <clears throat> feel free to ask me any questions because I got it all written down. I recorded the whole thing. <laughs> and I reviewed the footage, so you know you got any so, questions. You um, ask your old pal Grabsy. Mm -hmm. First, I love Grabsy so much. Has John met Grabsy? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, I know John. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he doesn't he doesn't know he just met you. Mm -hmm. Um and he also met Papa Chops. He's scared of you. So I didn't meet Papa Chops. You didn't meet Papa Chops. Okay. He's he's the alternate face. When, uh, when he has a you know, new face. Face yeah. face swap. <clears throat> yeah. Mm -hmm. When our face <clears throat> is off. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. Yeah. Um so yeah. So. Uh, <clears throat> So I think at uh, at Twisters we have kind of a um, uh, back booth. We do a lot of we do a lot of business and meetings here. Oh yeah. And so we've got uh, they know that hey in this back booth that we'll signal them they don't come by. Mm -hmm. no, nobody else come by to refill our stuff. Yeah you know, yeah yeah. They, they know that sometimes we're meeting clients or mm -hmm. discussing things that they probably don't want to know about. <clears throat> one of you guys has a white noise generator, right? Did I do that? I think you might. Uh, have I one. think it might be me. Uh, yeah. Maybe. If I did so. that right. Oh god! I know. <laughs> Wait. I, I know. <laughs> Papa Chops did, so it probably makes a lot of I sense have a for John the other face. Two too. white noise generators. Yeah. You, you do. Oh, okay. Nice. It's it's yeah. a rating two then. Okay. So you you plop it oh, out there. Oh, that's right. You have a mess of them too. So. Uh -huh. Yeah. <clears throat> so you plop it out there, and you guys have uh, a, a little. Is it set to ocean? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Delightful. <laughs> so relaxing. Mm. Mm. Uh, were you able to find anything out about the Johnson? The tracking? The, did you follow him? Uh, so here's here here's the job as we know it. Uh, the Johnson has a recipe that uh, I'm sorry. The Johnson is interested in acquiring a recipe from our target. Uh, he's given us details about the house, about the gated community where he is, 
and um, our payment is predicated on no cat, no uh, injuries for the uh, family or the target. Okay. Non-lethal methods only. Um, we did do a little, Grabsy's done a little bit of digging, so we know a little bit about what their setup is. It looks like there may be a, a, an exotic cat of some sort, but we don't have any details on that yet. Okay, a dangerous uh, exotic cat? Or uh -huh. like large. Most likely very large. Hmm. Uh, there's, there's some in their family photos, there's no reference to anything, so we believe it's probably some part of their security system. It's a nice house. Yeah. <coughs> Well, uh, for and uh, we're certain that the recipe is at this house? We have been assured that it is at the house, but it will only be there until about 7.30 tomorrow morning. Um, what time is it now? Uh, one uh, o'clock-ish? It's going to be, yeah, it's probably about one o'clock now. Oh, so we've got like six hours to do it? No, no we've got oh, uh, like 13 hours. Okay. Um, so that's, that's about what, what we know. Uh, at some point, we need to get in there and get out. We're not sure who he's meeting up with or where that is going down, if someone's coming here, if he's going somewhere else. Uh, the original idea we had was to try and see if we can lure some of the family out of the house, maybe with a family emergency spoofed by the sister uh, of the wife, to maybe get her out and maybe one or two of the kids. Um, was it... Three kids? Two kids? Three kids. Three kids. Okay. I think it's too complicated. And we have less than 13 hours. We need to do it while it's still in the house. We need to do it while at least the children are sleeping. So if anything, we <coughs> cause a distraction for the, uh, the two adults and somehow take out the cat. <laughs> non lethally <laughs> does the cat count? Is that mm, part of the family? I think it's minimal... Collateral it was, damage is it possible, was, but I agree. But it was specified the family. They I didn't think if mention we, if the, the cat. Sentence, exactly, that yeah. was something that, that we discovered. So that's probably a that maybe discovered. try not to, but probably. Well, on the other hand, be a big deal it is a gated to. community, so any sort of you know, if gunfire goes off, it's not unlikely that there'll be a rapid response team. Mm -hmm. Guys, uh, I don't like cats. Up. Just gonna put that out there. I'm mildly <laughs> allergic to cats. Well, this is gonna be a great run. Um, <laughs> cats. <laughs> cats, cats, cats. <laughs> so I have the means to um, non-lethally take out the, uh, the humans, potentially the cat as well, but we may also want to grab some tasers or if anyone has, a, has used the <clears throat> injection dart gun, we might want to try something like that. To, to yeah. take out the take out like the animals. Tranquilizer I've got dart some, or something. Uh, exactly. I've got some sleeping gas I can use at close range. Oh, that would be great. There we go. Uh, Grabs, you were you able to get any more information about uh, the family habits um, or any other uh, family uh, photos? Anything else that we can use for our insertion? Yeah, we uh, need to know at least when they're in, but the kids are in bed. Uh, well, uh, well, they, they, they don't have anything online about uh, the kids' bedtime. Um, the, the mom's pretty active on Twitter. Uh, she's, uh, <laughs> she's great. She, she does a lot of cooking. Um, that's nice. Cooking at home, which is, uh, you know, that's, uh, she's, got a lot, she's got a lot of really nice pictures. You pick up she, some recipes she makes some delicious while you were looking? And, uh, yeah. uh, uh, no, she doesn't post the recipes. She just posts the pictures. Of <laughs> oh, you're, oh, okay. <laughs> mm. Sorry. <laughs> business, uh, business, business. <laughs> Let's see. Um, hey, what does a uh, what does clear sight do for us if uh, we think that there is an invisible animal in this house? Clear sight is the uh, that's the name of your sensor program uh, for your drones. Mm -hmm. um, so clear sight allows your drones to see hidden things. It's it's not it doesn't have any any perception like no like invisible perception or anything. It's just uh, it's it's the program that a drone uses to spot oh, gotcha. stuff. Okay, I gotcha. Um, but yeah, no, I, I, I didn't. I didn't find out a whole lot. Um, I, I did. I got a picture of the kid, uh, the older kid. He's uh, he looks like a, a, a kid. He's got long hair. Fantastic. So, uh, yeah. Do we have a location at least where his office is in the house? Um, <clears throat> oh, I did get that. Hold on. Um, I was scooping around and um, I found a photo of the floor plan of the home. Uh, the mom does a lot of designing, 
And uh, she created this little floor plan um, on this website and shared it publicly. Um, I don't know if it still looks like this or how accurate the depiction is, but uh, right. uh, here, here That is here why you, you do not do that. Yes. <laughs> Master bedroom next to the other bedroom. Looks like there's at least two floors. Nice prep, by the way. Yeah, yeah you great know. prep. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this guy. I do what I can, hey. Hey. you know? <laughs> Trying to make it interesting for you folks at home, hey. It's definitely a child's bed. This princess is on it. You got that top floor? Yeah, oh, yeah that's the top, top floor. floor. Okay, cool. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, so that's the top one. <laughs> I'm still in my Andrew Dice kit. Play. Um, oh, uh, w while we're doing this, um, I wanted to uh, uh, say Fakwad, Super Viewer Fakwad, uh, gives the Shadowrun Soccer Mom a sploosh. Oh, Woo! yeah. Shadowrun. Thank you. Soccer Mom. Shadowrun Soccer Mom. <laughs> that made me really happy. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, All Fakwad. Right. Thanks for watching. <laughs> So we do. We have the master bed that's upstairs, we have a bathroom. I don't know what this room is. It's a probably a kids, kids, child's kids bedroom. Another kids room Bunk and then another. Ah, oh, I see. Another Princesses. Bedroom? That's right. Yeah. Definitely right. A bed. Right? Bed. Guest I, bedroom. I only see two bedrooms. Three. I'm sorry, but there are three kids. Right. These are bunk beds. Yeah. Oh, those are bunk beds. Okay. So little ladder. Wow, that's how far you detail. Maybe the teenager's room and then the two <laughs> um, there. So how many entrances do we have? Well, one. main entrance, one from the garage. garage. It's a window? Yeah, a bunch of windows. Where's that? Are these windows? Oh, yeah, look at that. Into the kitchen. Here. So. The kitchen's like, there's a little bathroomette in the kitchen. This is several years old, by the way. Um, just FYI. I imagine they're not going to keep it right in the bedroom. It's not going to be right in sight. I wonder where he spends most of his time. Yeah, what looks like an office or something. It's probably probably upstairs, right? No, the bedrooms are upstairs. Yeah, yeah, it looks look, like it's mostly bedrooms upstairs. This looks like an office, right? That's a dining room. A chairs. That looks like a dining room. <laughs> right. Dang it, we're out <laughs> the kitchen. <laughs> I'm not the architect, my, I'm, the, my, I'm the face. Yeah, my my best guess would be That's a may, living maybe room. a remodel living here. Room. It's possible. And okay, well, are we overlooking the fact that it might just be in the master bedroom in Could his be. room? Could be. It may be. <coughs> there is a large closet. Mm -hmm. It's got a safe or something in there. Hmm. So you're you're thinking that we can do some sort of a, a distraction? We can either do a distraction or if we have any kind of equipment to just put them all out for the evening. What's the what's the area of effect on your smoke bombs, on your uh, gas, on your sleeping gas? That's a good question. I think it's probably fairly close. Uh, <coughs> no, by any chance? Again, yeah, um, we have to worry about that how, catch. How many of those will we need to just gas the house? Yeah. Oh shoot, that's the wrong one. No. What? What? Oh. <laughs> what? Oh god, no! <laughs> <laughs> you scared me. <laughs> Uh, there it is. Okay. We know there's even greenery in here. Oh, Sean, do you have your book? Yeah. Nice oh, you do have your book. I do. Okay. Okay. You, you want the book? Um, is it Neurostun? Is that what I gave you? Uh, Neurostun, like six or something? I, or? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't see you. Call him Sean. You did. What? Mm -hmm. Yep. Cool. Okay. Who did I call I have, Sean? You called Nick Sean. I, have, I just straight up called you Sean? Yeah. I and don't even know anybody named you, Sean. You also <laughs> said this. <laughs> fucking weird. <laughs> I have. That, I mean, I know. I wouldn't we, expect anything less from Tyler because he's clearly a garbage person. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you're totally Sean right. <laughs> <laughs> I have, That's the weirdest thing I've ever done. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying. I'm just saying that. <laughs> listen. I just that's right. Listen. That's straight up tear gas. But I also have Nero stun and it, eight. It's not an actual like number in prisons. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. See, this is a, a new, uh, it's a ne Roman Neurostun numeral. 8. Is the, the, so there's three versions of the Neurostun. There's uh, 8, 9, and 10. Uh, 8 is the weakest uh, variety, but it's still quite. Thanks. Still quite packs. I mean, you'll be able to um, safely murder civilians with it. Uh, murder? So, Does it kill them? No, no, no. It's okay. something. Murder. Uh, wait, murder. But you can, you can <laughs> wait, murder. Murder. And then murder, murder them. Murder. Yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, Neurostun is a colorless and, o and odorless. It's an industry standard knockout gas for emergency containment situations and comes in various concentrations. Uh, it will become inert after 10 minutes of contact with the air. Um, okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, mine so is mine I will, it's eight. Mine's eight too. Mine will murder. I had to I had to put murder next to it, so <laughs> I know not to use it. <laughs> then no, no, it, it, it won't murder. No, right. You have things that will murder. You I have think. options of murdering after. We'd have to yeah. physically murder after they're all passed out. Yeah, yeah. It, doesn't, it doesn't do all the work for you. That's for like obviously you know, my character has some deep rooted issues. Okay, so I do have neurostun, neuro which is, which is mm -hmm. a gas, right? Yes, so it's okay. a gas. Cool. Page four ten. Uh, it is a uh, yeah. All right. You know, while we're doing this, I'm gonna fiddle around and see if I what I can find as far as like pheromones for cats. Because I've got like a pheromone dispenser, maybe I could like, mm. you know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm gonna look it up on the idea. on the internons. Okay. <laughs> um, put it put it in heat or something. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. yeah I don't, I, really that like would me. make it more I'd alert. I'd rather it hump me than <laughs> than to like try to kill me. I guess if I had to choose. It might just. Mm, never mind. Do you have know. um? Do you have um? Parazoology by any chance? <laughs> I would say I, I would it. say if it's a male, it'd be quite aggressive. If it's a large cat, so it's gonna be. Human size, almost, that's, right? That's a decent point. That may be the last thing that I would want to do. Yeah. Have, yeah. Like, it also has the claws. <laughs> 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 no, I, I have no uh, zoology. You have, you have no zoology. Um, yeah, um, it's, it, it, it's pretty tough. I mean, you do know that there are um, uh, meta variants of, uh, of cats. Um, uh, you know, because everybody, everybody knows. Guys, uh, we're taking out the cat. I'm just telling you. It's right. not going to make it. And so, I mean, uh, if, if it's not a house cat, um, <coughs> it could be... Well, unless um, it threatens the mission. It could be if the choice is between completing, the, completing the mission and killing the cat, we're completing the mission. They said yeah. keep the family safe. Let's see. No casualties. I don't think I have anything that will be helpful. <coughs> yeah, there's like, a, there's like a well, hellhound. Thank you, Jet. Um, which is a, uh, it's yeah. a paracritter, I Fail. believe. Drone fail. There's there's a great cat in that um, <laughs> that's uh, one more page up. What if they cause a distraction? I don't know if cat? that's what you were what looking at. Yes. Oh. Okay. Yeah. There's a laser uh, sights. Hellhounds. Cats go crazy for laser pointers. Yeah. It can't be too rowdy though. Depends on how if we end up knocking <laughs> the family <laughs> out or what. <laughs> it just starts going crazy and knocking everything over. Oh yeah, great cat. There it is. <laughs> yeah. Trying to catch the great lasers. That's a, that's Setting a off mundane, alarms but, and stuff. Right, you know. Oh. Anything's possible. Right. Let's you try to make it, it through the mission. <laughs> okay. okay. I'm not ready to die yet. Okay. Just call it whatever you, you want. A cyber cat. A cyber monkey. No. What? <laughs> Would it be what? a battle cat? Hold on, I gotta Where? do some real quick uh, editing to my campaign. <laughs> oh, Prince Adam. Twelve battle cats. <laughs> okay. Um, so you're not able to find anything um, specifically. Uh, uh, I mean, there's like, you could go down to the pet store and kind of and kind of buy like bear mace or something. Um, and that, that <laughs> might be the gig, but but it, that's going to do the gig on anybody. I mean, it, yeah, it's right. you know, um, and it's pretty much the, the the gas that you have and um, uh, that's going to affect a, a large cat in the same way, and it's going to knock out a, a large cat. Do you have a so. toxin mask so that you can not be mm. a gas mask? It's plus zero. I don't know what that means. Yeah. Yeah, you have a gas mask. That's just, that's just that's your just, armor. It's armor value. So it doesn't okay. add anything to your armor value. Got but it. But you have a gas mask. Yep. So I'm going into the house, it seems. So if... Not if, everyone has to go into the house. If we can load that's you true. up with uh, some Neurostun, if you can sneak into the house, gas it, open the doors, or just search through... We're going to have a limited amount of time. We need at least two people in this house looking. Um, well, no. I it, could go, too. I could, I mean, correct I could me if I'm wrong, but it dissipates in 10 minutes, but once someone's knocked out, they're mm -hmm. knocked out. They don't, yeah. they don't reawaken in 10 minutes. No. Uh, they it's just that after 10 minutes, she can open the door and we can walk in without But we're also within a gated neighborhood. Like, mm -hmm. Well, I, th I think what we need is we need, a, we need an insertion strategy, and then if you can take care of the stealth, <laughs> drop... Uh, Drop, I'm not. Drop, do you, I'm two people. Two people in this house. Someone's dealing with the cat, or the cat. It will be dead. Right. I think it might be best for me to go to maybe the front door and create a distraction at first, and then I could just gas him right there while you gas the inside of the house. I don't know Scared. about the cat, but. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to send <clears throat> in maybe just one of my flying eyes to scope and see where everyone, make sure that everybody's in their bedrooms, and see if the cat. That responds would be to it so that we know where it is maybe before That's we true. enter. That would be helpful. Make sure I, everybody I can do asleep. I can do remote viewing as well. Perfect. <clears throat> Which depending on their defenses might be less uh, obtrusive. 
True. So if you go in the front, which is here, uh, you're immediately by these stairs. Um, so I think he's saying, rings the doorbell, gasses whoever answers. Meanwhile, you're on the second floor gassing the bedrooms if we go in at night. There's not an entrance for the top floor. I have to enter entrance, enter through the bottom to get to the second floor. Is there a window or a skylight? This tree is pretty high up to this window. For whatever reason, it doesn't look like there are That's any true. windows on the top floor. What's this? Is that a giant window? <coughs> it looks like Yeah, one. I'd say so. That's probably up at the hall. The, that's the hall banister landing, I think. I mean, these aren't in scale, but I'm assuming that that's, you come up, uh, you come up the landing in, your, yes. in this area here. So the, uh, according to these old plans, which may not Oh, of course, none of this matches up at all <laughs> for that, but. Um, <laughs> the, <laughs> there are currently, from what we know of, no windows upstairs. So I somehow have to get into this house. Well, there are. Where's our, where's our other extra? So there are windows upstairs. All right. Yeah. And in the back, this tree leads right up to that window. Oh, I don't need the tree. We're good. All right. <coughs> so how how are we getting into the community? Oh, right, that. <laughs> oh That's yeah, <laughs> getting into the actual neighborhood. So it's gated, so we need, uh, what, to hack it? To hack into the access terminal? Well, well do we have we someone guarding the gate? We either need to take out the security with no one else noticing and nobody responding, or we need some reason that they're going to let us in. I don't know that we can knock out security as well. Can we? I think that's pretty risky as well. Yeah, can we, is there a way to um, come up with some sort of fake work order? Pretend that we're and they're making some kind of emergency repairs, like to, I don't know. Maybe like exterminators or something. We could bring our own pests. Exterminators, yeah. <laughs> You're like, look at all these cockroaches you've got. <laughs> or like emergency, <laughs> emergency <laughs> plumbers. We already in our head. <laughs> <laughs> like something is flooding, so we need to like be emergency plumbers or just, you know. Ah, I've yeah. got tons of tools and stuff that we could uh, put in the van, and I've got the stickers. We could, I've got a, a, a plumbing Right. A magnet that we could put on Grabs. the side of the Grab, name. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. I was uh, just, I was looking at something, <laughs> but I'm here now. Grabsy. You're really looking the recipes again. It doesn't matter. Um, it's really has, good food. Mm, <laughs> has there been any uh, businesses that have been frequently going through the neighborhood recently? Uh, well, I mean, there's the, there's the, uh, the UPS and the FedEx. They, they deliver. Uh, uh, pretty That's much, pretty enough. much anywhere. Yeah. Uh, there, I, I, I didn't see any mailboxes out front, so I, I think they just take them straight to the homes. We so. would just have to do a, a, a that would that doesn't give us a lot of time if we're a delivery service. Yeah. That's true. That's true. <coughs> uh, there, uh, you, maybe maybe food delivery too. Also not. They a lot do of they time. do get takeout. A lot. Well, Fantastic. <laughs> Even with all those great recipes. She takes she takes pictures of her takeout. Oh. It's pretty funny. Yeah. She arranges can it on you, a plate like you, it's hers. <laughs> <laughs> if Grabsy gets us a number, can you call the front gate and confirm that FedEx deliveries go straight to the house? Mm. Yeah, sure. Just that, you know, I don't know, something like, Hey, you're new on the you're new on the route, you just want to make sure is do they is there a homeowners <clears> association? <throat> do they all get dropped off at the office? Do we take them straight up? Right, right, right. Or just calling like that. We yeah. might be, if we can confirm that, that's a great idea. Safe as hell. 